Hey there, everybody. I hope that you are having a pleasant Sunday morning. We are looking forward to 70 degree temperatures, but right now it's like 47. So <laughs> you want to go, oh, that's not right. It's not even close. But I know that a lot of you are having weather. So I am thinking of you, especially, you know, as, um, as goodness gracious, you know, the tornado season um, is kind of starting early. So blessings to you all. I hope you all are having a safe Sunday. I have finished the courtship of Miles Standish and I wanted to show this to you. I'm going to get it in the Etsy shop a little later on today. It is a big book, my friends. It's seven and a quarter by nine and three quarters. So it is a big, big book book. It's arranged in um, three signatures. I think I've got 35 pages. I'm not quite sure how many pages are in here, um, but I'll count them before I list it in my Etsy shop. We're looking at a 1903 book um, that came to me with a lot of uh, damage, water damage, basically. But here's the thing. I don't know what hit this baby as far as water damage wise, but it left no smell, no stickiness. So I just really don't know. But you can see the damage right here. I wanted to save the book, so I kept the damage and just worked around it. Um, I did trim the ends off here just a little tiny bit. Of course, if you're working with something that's 1903, everything has to be measured and cut like one at a time. It can't be cut on a... Um, on a paper cutter at all. Um, so this is an art journal. Um, you can use it for all kinds of things, but I designed it as an art journal and you'll see what I'm talking about as we get into the book. These faces are Diane Reevely. I am sorry that I, oh, wait a minute. Jane Davenport, Jane Davenport, Jane Davenport. It's really beautiful. I love the the way that you know a bright color pops against something that is a hundred and fifteen, sixteen years old. Just gotta love that man. Uh, we've got some 1850, 1891 uh, Edison's Encyclopedia. This is arranged as a belly band, so I've just put you some text to play with here. This book has a copyright of 1903, so that's what we're looking at here. Uh, this was published in 1858 was the first publication of it. So you've got a belly band arrangement right here. I did, again, you can see the damage, but the damage has become part of the story of the book. Every book has a story. That turned down corner that you see, that's a story. That's where somebody stopped reading. Maybe their child wasn't feeling well. Maybe they had to uh, stop their reading and go fix dinner. And then you have to wonder, did they ever come back to that turned down page? To me, every book tells a tale. And it's a beautiful, wonderful tale. Um, a lot of collage. This is 1851, a report to Congress. I'll show you this book. It is. Uh, these are pages from the Patent Office Report. 1851 to 1852. This was an agricultural report, and it is magnificent. Um, so a lot of those pages were incorporated in my collage that I did. A collage page can be a lot of things, you guys. You can use it for writing. You can use it for sketching. You can use it for all kinds of things. Now, i got to show you something else, too. Um, sorry about the squeaky, squeaky floor. I took some pages out of this. Now, this is not the whole Courtship of Miles Standish, okay? It, it is not the entire book. Uh, it's a book. It's a book in rescue. So, it is jumbled up. It's not the story. Um, but I took, 
you know, what I could salvage from the book. And I also salvaged some pieces for me to work with. I wanted to show you guys the sturdiness of this paper. Now, I painted it. I collaged it. Um, I did some molding paste on here. So we've got all kinds of things going on. And the paper held up absolutely beautifully. Um... I can't make any claims about the paper other than that. It held up beautifully. So let's just flip on around here and more collage pages. This is a little um, tuck spot right here, a tuck spot right here, arranged with uh, an oversized Lucy right here to hold it into place. We've got a tuck spot here, a tuck spot here, vintage text here. Um... I did some napkin work here. I love this napkin. Again, this Jane Davenport, which is really awesome. Uh, you've got a tuck spot here, arranged as a side pocket. More collage elements, a bit of paint and collage and stencil work here. Um, I love the way this one came together. It says experiments with love and friendship. <laughs> Who hasn't had that, right, <laughs> at some point in life? You've got a tuck spot here, a little belly band arrangement here. Again, the stenciling that, and I tried to choose colors that went along with the book. Um, this is a, uh, this is 1950 Hardy Boys. Uh, I think that's 1950 um, Agatha Christie. Um, more from the 1891 Edison. I put a napkin in here for you to play with. Gotta tell you, these embellishments are from Miss W. Miss W, you know who you are. I, um, I will write you a proper thank you note, but oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's all. I'll just leave it there. Oh my gosh. Um, more of now miss w painted these so you've got some painty papers in here to play with as well the illustrations are phenomenal in this book a little bit of a uh, tuck spot there um sailing of the mayflower there's a little tuck spot right here for you now this is a nice page for you to work on, right? So it's a blank page, just got a little bit of stenciling right here. Uh, Loose Lucy used as a tab up here. Um, and we've got more elements right here in a pocket. This is actually a double pocket because you have a belly band arrangement right there. Um, illustrations are amazing i did also note page numbers down here because that is the way that i was arranging the book like i said could not save all of it but i am saving as much as i possibly can you've got some molding paste stenciling here along with the decoupage napkin um, collage elements here another beautiful illustration more of the um, molding paste. I love molding paste, and I love to um, to color it with acrylics. You've got a tuck spot here, a little Lucy there. Now, by the time you get here, guys, um, you know if, you, if you're terrified of a blank page, you've got some really nice blank pages coming up. Again, I love this. I just think it's so pretty. Look at the way that stencil um, came out on this piece that I did. Just think it's such a pretty stencil, especially with the molding paste through there. You got a tuck spot right here. This is a top tuck. Another top tuck here. Beautiful illustration. Another awesome illustration. A belly band right here. We are getting to the end of the book. We can still see evidence of the um, damage here. Just can't let it go, man. Even if it's damaged, it's 1903. It's 116 years old. Another little collage element for you. And then the end of the story right here. Um, so there we go, guys. Um, the Courtship of Miles Standish. 1903 arranged as a... Um, as a as an art journal but you can use it for anything that your little heart desires this will go in the etsy shop a little later on today thank you guys so much and i'll talk to you soon bye